You guys remember that time we were gonna stay, you know, in LA to go to Crypto Arena and be able to see the uh, big old show and yep, all this stuff. Yep. We were going to, I was going to, and Lauren <laughs> ruined everything. All of it. Let's go home. The top of the year is supposed to be a time to feel refreshed, but we all know how tough of a time it is for some people too. We want you to start living your best life. And if something is holding you back from doing so, then our next sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help. BetterHelp is a safe and private online environment that connects you with the help you need. BetterHelp is not a crisis line. It's not self-help. It is professional counseling done securely online. Everything you share is confidential and you can send a message to your counselor at any time. They also give you the option to set up a scheduled video or phone session weekly if you want to stick to a routine. We talk quite a bit about our own methods for getting help, and Lauren in particular has found the flexibility when it comes to both finding the right counselor using BetterHelp and their flexible communication channels over the phone or email makes it very easy to speak with someone when we need it most. BetterHelp is also committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches, so they make it very easy to change those counselors if needed. We want you to start living a happier life today, and as a listener, you'll get 10% off your first month by visiting our sponsor at betterhelp.com WT9. Join over 1 million people who have taken charge of their mental health. Again, that's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash WT9. Peloton has added a bunch of new classes, new music, new ways to keep your workouts fun and motivating. They also have boxing to their selection, which is a personal favorite of mine. Even if you've never boxed before, these classes will have you working up a sweat while working on the fundamentals of form, footwork, and fun combos that will keep you on your toes. I've been boxing for, I don't even know how many years now, but for since we met, it's been forever. And I am such a fan of boxing as a workout. For a limited time, try the Peloton app free for two months, then $12.99 after. New members only. Visit onepeloton.com slash app to learn more. That's two months free at O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N.com. Offer expires one thirty one twenty two. Terms apply. What's up, Tillies? Tillers? Oh, God, everyone's speakers. Good morning, Latvia. Happy 2022. Happy 2022. Wow. It's been so long. It's been the longest. It's been the longest, 100%. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt about it. I miss, you know what happened though? I started having conversations with, with Tilly's in uh-huh. the middle of it uh-huh. to, to to feed my my urge. Your ego? Yeah, no. Urge. No. The, the conversations that I had, <laughs> y'all are some nerds. Y'all are some nerds. Our audience, I think I thought I had an idea of who they are. Mm-hmm. Nerds. Okay. Love them. Yeah, love it for us. I had no idea they were a bunch of me. Nerds. Cool nerds. Cool nerds. Cool nerds. Cool nerds. Every nerd that's cool says they're cool. Every nerd that says they're cool is actually cool. Cool, yeah, yeah. That's usually how that works for sure. But what I will say is (laughs) nerds are becoming cooler. Are you kidding me? It is the, like, the people who do the best in life are nerds. Yes, but actually, has it always been that way? We just had this conversation with someone. Who was it? We were talking about geeks versus nerds. Who? Um, was I in this conversation? Yes, 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 yes. When? And our friend was saying that he's a geek and you're a nerd. Yes, who was this? Attila, it was Attila. Oh, Attila, yes. Yeah, and he was saying that he's a geek. He's a geek, right. And you're a nerd. He is a geek. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. but he's like a full stack engineer. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. his, his brain is on, is 14 ones and zeros. Plant. Yes, yeah, yeah, ones and zeros. Yeah, yeah. I, do, I do see mm-hmm. the, the, the middle diff- ground yeah. and, and most importantly, how to finesse the sale of whatever those one and zero is to someone. The geek. Right. Anyways, welcome back to the pod. Welcome to 2022. Welcome to 2022. Is this season two or? No, 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 no. Gonna- also, I have oh. I have allocated um, money and time towards a rebrand for a new podcast, uh, like photo cover thing. And Jeremy's the only thing standing in between us. So I'm putting this out into the world now to hold us accountable that by the end of Q2, uh, June, 2022, we will have a new photo. Oh my God, photo. six months? Yeah. The fuck's gonna take us six months? We'll have this shit by end of Q1. Okay, well, damn, you fuck, okay. No, I would like, um, actually, you know what I would like to do? I know I, you wanna get a gym membership first. <laughs> uh, That's I, literally why you said we couldn't do it last time is that you want your jawline back. I, well, I do. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at it, it's, it's fine, <laughs> remember that. Um, I genuinely don't think it's gonna take us that long. Oh, it won't at all. Let's aim for May. Sure. Yeah. It feels good. Like uh, school's out, 
Like sun's out, guns out, skies out, thighs out. I'm not sure New what school you went to where you were out in May. Damn. When did you get out? June. College? Oh. Oh, uh, college. I had final exams in May. 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 April. Yes. April. May, May. Yes, without question. Yeah. Yeah. Why does it seem like so long ago? Because it was a long remember. time ago. Because I'm turning thirty. I know, uh -huh. guys. We have so much to cover this podcast. Jeremy's birthday, New Year's Eve, me getting COVID, us not going home for Christmas. <laughs> oh, I don't even know where to start. Where should we start? Let's start with um, where we left off and where okay. we are now. Okay. You got fucking COVID and ruined all of our plans. I got COVID and ruined all of our plans. You guys remember that time we were gonna stay, you know, in LA to go to Crypto Arena, be able to see the uh, big old show and yep, all this stuff. Yep. We were going to, I was going to, and Lauren <laughs> ruined everything. All of it. All of it. <laughs> all of it, but okay, like I will say that, um, um, Waiting for the CDC ad to just take over right I feel, now. I feel really sad for Omarion because he's had to make so many pieces mm -hmm. of social media content because Omicron is so close to so close to Omarion. And so he had to make a really sad video being like, hey, if uh, you see me on the street, you do not bum, have bum, to bum. isolate. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> and so anyway, mm -hmm. so I got Omarion. Omarion from B2K. Yeah, I got Omarion and- uh, <laughs> She got a case of the Amarions. I got a case of the Amarions. It fucking got me. Okay. It got me. I, it's not your fault. And I have so many things to say. Okay, one, timed out perfectly. If I was going to get a Marion, it was the perfect time. Really? Because, one of the coolest days of my life? Yes. Because, 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 because I literally, we made the decision to like stay, obviously, for Crypto Arena on right. December 25th. We were supposed to go home December 26th. So we made the decision like literally a few days before Christmas to not go home because I'm not when I tell you that fucking LA, everyone had Omarion, everyone. It was crazy. I'm Omarion- over here, I'm over here to find statistics. Def little, we'll get into that in a second. But uh, all of LA had Omarion and we were like, you know what? This is maybe not a good idea. Whether we were, we're both, we're both fully boosted and vaxxed. Um, vaxxed and waxed. Vaxxed and waxed, yeah. triple, triple vaxxed and waxed. Yeah. But like Omarion, she's a different breed. She's, um, I mean, I don't wanna, I feel like the data keeps changing every day, but like way more transmissible, but less severe, less hospitalizations, which Everyone is great. Had it. Everyone had, fucking everyone, everyone had, it. had it. It was crazy. So anyway, we were like, this is probably not a good decision. Like, let, let's just, let's just, let's just chill let's out. Let's go to a crowded arena by ourselves and <laughs> then we'll stay home. Right, and so like also that being part of the plan too, for us to go there and then also go home. Like it was not the right equation for good decisions. Well, I think in every decision, there's a little bit of risk and there was just too much risk. Too much risk. And also flights were getting canceled left and right as well too. Yeah. So like the odds were heavily stacked against us. So we're like, let's just wait until January to go home because like shit is too cray right now. Literally, not not one day later, I started feeling a little weird, but I have mentally given myself COVID so many times. Like I have the tiniest little scratch in my throat and I'm like, oh my God. Babe, <laughs> babe, my, I think I'm COVID. <laughs> and like, it was, it, we, we jokingly say that about a thousand times a year right. at this point. Right. And you really started to sell that you had COVID. No, 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 no. Day one though, day one, I was like, babe, I they feel- They all kind of blend like, together, yeah. but, but keep going. Day one, I was like, I'm feeling a little covid -y. I had like the tiniest scratch in my throat. And like, this has happened again <laughs> a thousand times. I've got the black lung, Papa. I've got the black lung. Uh -huh. <laughs> and then the next day I woke up and I still had the little scratch in my throat. I think this was December 24th, maybe. Timeline is relative. And uh, took a rapid test on day one, tested negative. Took a rapid test on day two was negative. By the end of day two, this is gonna sound very odd, but I have throat problems. Like when I get sick, my throat, my tonsils, because I didn't get my tonsils taken out of the child and I mm. definitely should have. Yeah. I have like major sore throat slash like strep throat issues. Um, so my throat was dying by the end of day two. And I was like, there's no, f I have I have the vid. Omarion has come for me, it is my time. You did mention that a few times. Yeah, I was like, it was like, I couldn't sleep because it hurt so bad to swallow kind of level of um, pain. But you, the odd thing was it was fine to speak with. That didn't stop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Was screaming. Yeah. I wasn't babe, screaming. Babe, <laughs> will you make me a therapy? <laughs> Give me rabies. I'm like, I'm Robbie. A, I'm a, if, if, if you really are as contagious <laughs> as I think you're supposed to be, I'm not gonna come over and rub you. And so anyway, I took a rapid test that night, tested positive, took a PCR the next day, tested positive. 
And um, I just want to take a quick moment to make this a quick advertisement for getting fucking vaccinated, uh, please and thank you. Because being boosted, I had what felt like a mild cold for about four days. And I will say, because again, half of LA, probably closer to 75% of LA had Omari on. My friends who were not boosted had more of like a flu situation with like chills. Some had like nausea and fever and sweats and the whole nine yards where I very much just had like sore throat, which turned into like congestion, which turned into like a little cough. And then I was you got shitting. Sick. I got sick. It, yeah, it felt like a mild cold and I have the vaccine and the booster to thank for that. So motherfuckers go get fucking vaccinated. XO CDC. This is not a CDC paid ad, but we might have one. This is not a CDC ad. <laughs> motherfuckers go get vaccinated. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm fine. Jeremy fully, I don't know how. I don't know how. I could tell you two words. Cockroach, Cockroach energy. energy. <laughs> Omarion saw my body, my <laughs> vessel, and it it probably hopped in for a moment and it said, fuck this. Dude yeah. doesn't sleep. Nope. Does not take care of himself. Nope. I'm not trying to, I mean, thank God it didn't take over me because I would have, I would have, it would have mutated and it evolved out of me into also, something just insane. When Jeremy gets sick, he's don't, don't do this. You don't get, you don't get, I've been sick twice since you've known me. And it's the loudest, most destructive moments of my I years. Just, I, no, I just, I'm, I, you just, you ask how I'm feeling. I'll let you know. Uh, the difference is when you're sick, I'm like, okay, I'm going to leave you alone. And you're like, baby, you okay? And I'm like, oh, not that you asked. I do have a list. <laughs> and I walk you through it. Uh, lucky me. It lucky is. me. So Jeremy completely just like avoided it, which again, we love you vaccine. We love it. you booster. Not sure how. Oh my God. Well, so when I was um, just like diving into like research and stuff, I was like, okay, the average is like having been exposed to it five days before you show symptoms. So I was like backtracking and we had definitely spent every single day together and slept in the same bed together every single night leading up to that. And also too, like all of my core friends, no one got it. And obviously being completely asymptomatic beforehand and being fully vaccinated, I like didn't question going to a movie theater, sitting with my mask on, but like taking it off for five minutes to eat popcorn, but then putting it back on for, you know, like the entire movie. I believe I remember you reminding me between popcorn Literally. bites to put my mask <laughs> back on. I know. And I was like, <laughs> for sure, one second. And yeah. I'm doing a quite bad job of it really. And I didn't get it. Literally, I don't, I don't, I'm not entirely sure where I got it. Cause none of like our core friends had it. Here, Amarion's here. out here. Amor, Amarion is out here. Yeah, yeah. Is out here. But full recovery. For, yeah, all I'm your, good. All your smells. Oh, I, I never lost. That was the other thing about being boosted too. I was so grateful. I didn't lose my smell and taste and a lot of the unboosted friends. Um, did you want to talk about the sleeping arrangement we, we decided to um, <laughs> try out? So uh, again, like five days before symptoms, so you're supposed to, you know, kind of the average of like when you were exposed to it. And I guess the day before, like the couple of days before you start showing symptoms when you're most contagious. So, you know, like three or oh, four 13 days. 13 minutes into it, Lauren's like, I'm <laughs> bored. Hey, hang out with me. We're gonna, well, you know, if, she'll go, she'll go, if, I, if I wear my mask, will you sit on that side of the room and just hang out with me? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. And, and uh, we, I was lonely. You were lonely. Cause we slept separate two nights and we split the bathrooms up for two days. But then afterwards, like I was like, the data shows that I'm not super contagious. Like if you didn't have it by then, I was like, I don't think you're gonna fucking get it. I like how you were like, the data shows that you, we could probably hang out. Um, and <laughs> the it's data okay. shows that we you, can you, actually you hang out. You probably have it by now. And I'm like, okay, sure. <laughs> but it's true. I, I just, I still can't believe you didn't get it. So anyway, so after the couple of nights that we didn't sleep together, I was feeling clingy and lonely. And so um, if you guys have seen any of my vlogs or whatever, we have the cloud couch, which is this obnoxiously large. Necessary item. Uh, well, how would you describe it? How, what, what do you think the dimensions are of it? Um, it's like two king size mattresses. Yes. In couch form. Yes. In a living room. Right. And so- No entrance, no exit, just a bed. Just bed. And it's it's very awkward to get in and out of, but it is it is the best money that we have ever spent in our entire lives. You are, you, you'll know if you come over to our home, if the middle portion's taken out for our gathering, right? we're not close. No. But if the middle section is in there, means yes. we're fine with all just hopping basically in one big old bed to watch anything together. Yes. We close. Those are real friends. Yeah. Those are real friends. So anyone who's come over, medium middle section thing out. Yeah. Uh, That's tough. It's it's nice knowing you. It is nice knowing you. <laughs> we're just not like that. It's just not like that yeah, yet. We're not like on couch. Bed. 
level. Cloud couch friend level friendship. Right, yeah. right, 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 right. There's levels to this. There's levels, there, there really are. Um, and so what we did, because COVID, Omarion actually can't hop walls. Oh! So we took the- You know, this data is getting more and more relevant. Yeah, Shpoop, you just, I gotta trust me. I am the data scientist. Yeah. And so I, I stacked all of the other cushions and made a wall in between us. And so Bubbies and I were on one side and Jeremy was on the other side. And we had a big family couch sleepover for about three nights. I would say, um, even though I was feeling almost completely entirely better and fine, and it also rained. Almost completely entirely better and fine. fine. Yeah, mm. it also rained in LA randomly for like three days straight. So yeah, we stayed horizontal in this position Didn't for move. almost, I would say three to four days entirely. Didn't, I lost track of time halfway through. Oh, it, I mean, you already like don't know where you are and what date it is in between Christmas and New Year's, but this was on a whole different level. Meanwhile, of course, all the things that I planned on doing in LA were still going on and I just couldn't go to them, even though I didn't have COVID because what if I did? I mean, it was the morally safe thing to do. Yes. <laughs> morally safe. Morally, I'd say morally sound. sound. Yeah. Right. I, guess, I feel like both kind of apply. Morally safe. That yeah. makes sense. Okay, morally sound. Morally sure. sound. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Online shopping can be daunting, especially for clothes. I find myself going back to the same options over and over again because I just don't want to deal with the hassle of returning different items to different stores, all with very different policies. But, you know, when I decide to go back to my old favorites for everything, I end up having 10 versions of the exact same outfit, which I will admit is just a bit boring. But when it comes to looking good without the hassle, Stitch Fix has you covered. Your style isn't one size fits all, and coming from the six foot four guy who tried to fit into way too many clothes for someone a lot shorter than he for the first couple decades of my life, I can confirm our bodies are not one size fits all either. Stitch Fix Freestyle is a shop built just for you. I think of it like my very own trusted style destination. It's where I'm able to discover and instantly buy curated items based on my lifestyle and preferences. And personally, when I'm looking for a brand I like, already love or wanna try a new one that's similar, Stitch Fix Freestyle gives me thousands of brands and styles personalized to my size and fit, and it can for you too. Plus, there's no subscription required, and they offer free shipping, returns, and exchanges. Get started today by filling out your style quiz at stitchfix.com slash wild9. That's stitchfix.com slash wild9 to try Stitch Fix Freestyle. stitchfix.com slash wild9. Lauren, have you ever signed up for a free seven day trial that you forgot to cancel after those seven days are up. Cause I swear that's how many, many companies get me. After those seven days, you can forget that you're paying the monthly fee for something you don't even use. Well, Truebill is here to help solve that problem for you. Truebill is the new app that helps you identify and stop paying for subscriptions you don't need, want, or simply forget about. I am literally so notorious for this. Like it is exhausting and expensive how bad I am at this. You should just call it True Lauren. I am True Lauren, genuinely. Yeah. When I signed up, I canceled three different subscriptions that I've been paying for months without knowing. On average, people save up to $720 a Damn. year with Truebill. Ooh. A lot, seriously guys, imagine how much money you could be wasting. When you sign up for Truebill and link your accounts, you are able to see what subscriptions you're paying for and easily cancel the ones you don't need. And then you can use the extra cash on yourself or you could save it and teach their own. Truebill has over 2 million users and helps save them over a hundred million dollars. Like Matthew B who says, in a matter of seconds, I saved $660 for the year on my direct TV bill, saved 120 for the year on my Sirius XM bill and saved $840 a year on car insurance. Way to go Matthew B. Way to go Matthew B. Don't fall for subscription scams. Start canceling today at truebill.com slash wild. Go right now, truebill.com slash wild. It could save Save you thousands of dollars a year. Truebill.com slash wild. Um, so, but what I mean by like, it was good timing, aside from the whole crypto arena situation on Christmas day, mm. was that- um, You're welcome, by the way. Well, so we were planning to stay for that, obviously, but had that not been in the plan and we had just gone about our life as usual, we oh. probably would have gone home. Like you, got, we wouldn't had a podcast till February, March. Oh my God. Cause it would have been stuck in Canada with COVID. I would have yes. given my entire family COVID and it, because like and I, I also felt probably still wouldn't have got it sitting there healthy by yourself, twiddling thumbs. but not able to fly home. 
No, I couldn't fly. I could fly home, but you'd go every time. But you gotta leave. You don't leave me. <laughs> um, so anyways, happy to say that 10 days later, I am in fact testing negative and I, I mean, I've been completely fine. They actually changed the isolation rules just as I was finishing yeah, my- I have a tendency um, of doing that a lot. Kobe Wobe. Changed a lot of things. Yeah, which I mean, we had nowhere to be anywhere. So I wasn't like dying to get out because it was also raining, but uh, yeah, Omarion came for me. Yeah. Gonna be honest, I feel pretty invincible now though. Like I've got the I've got the Omarion specific antibodies and I'm triple vax. Like I am locked and loaded, baby. Let's go rage. Let's go rage. Right in time for my 30th birthday. Yeah. Dirty 30. 30, Getting 30, 30. There. Getting out there. Dirty 30. But are you, uh, so any closing thoughts on your time with old Omarion? Omarion? Um, I mean, honestly, outside of just like missing your one thing, it yeah. was perfect timing. Didn't give my family COVID. It rained and like was miserable in LA for like most of the time that I had it. Um, work was at an all time, not busy, right. which was, you know, great timing oh, yeah. as well. Me, like one week beforehand then, Ooh, that would have sucked. Oh my God, we're even like in the first couple weeks of January when things start picking up. Like yeah. I just think about how many texts I had to send when I tested positive to people that I had seen. And it really wasn't that many, but it's like, if you were in full blown like work mode, going to events and like oh. doing things, oh my God, the amount of people that I would have had to like, email and text to be like, hey, expose you to COVID, hope you okay. Yeah, that's like the, when you like test positive, like positive like chlamydia. And it's yeah. like text all the people you hooked up with. Yes. Like, hey. Hey, so I got something ah. Or I think they have that thing with a doctor where you basically put their fin like their phone number in it and they do it for you. Oh, and they you. do it for you. Oh, that's yeah. good service. I I've heard of that. Yeah. I mean, so that's what a lot of countries do with um, uh, 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 contact tracing. America kind of just said fuck contact tracing, but a lot of, I think Canada for the most part, if you test positive, they'll call the people that you've seen, which is pretty nice. Remember that time you made a big deal about that? And then I showed you how in your phone you hadn't turned it on, but it was a feature that was readily available to everybody. Yeah. Um, also, I, I will say, um, I was so nervous to call my mom and tell her that like, you, I I yeah. was so nervous. You came down in the middle of the night. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. I was like, okay, you feel okay? You're like, yeah, I was like, okay, you're gonna be fine. You're like, okay. I was like, I'm in the middle of trading, being a degenerate, doing some DeFi trades right now. So I'm gonna need you to just, I need an hour or two. And you're like, you talked to your mom yet? Or no, I didn't, I didn't ask actually. And I called your mother at yeah, about five I don't in the morning. Why the fuck you did that? What do you mean? Why, I'm not afraid to call your mother with news about this. <laughs> why would I be afraid? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not afraid of the phone like I'm you are. I'm sweating just thinking about it. I, why would you be bad at me? Hi, I wanted to let you know your daughter has COVID. She's okay. She's mm -hmm. gonna be okay. It's everything's yeah. fine. Why, why would I be scared about that? Well, you know what it is? No, aside from that, is that I think because when people were getting COVID at the very beginning, and again, this is not in all cases, but in a lot of cases, it was people being reckless as fuck and not giving a shit about others. Okay. And so like there's pr this predisposition now that people feel guilty when they get it. And like, no one wants to feel like that, especially like when you have done like your moral duty to like go get vaccinated and stuff and like, you know, make, you know, or, or take calculated risks, I feel like is the way to say it. Um, and so like, there's obviously a part of you that feels guilty. You're like, oh my God, I fucked up. Like I should have not eaten popcorn at that movie theater. I should have not shaken that person's hand. I am, um, I don't feel bad at any of my actions. I feel pretty good about it. And um, I stand by that. I mean, I do too. And I think, I think seeing that literally, uh, no, I did not feel like that originally. No, you did not. I did not feel like you that originally. Not. But um, and not to say that like, I wanna suffer together for, with everyone, but seeing how many people, like I I probably knew, I, I don't, uh, maybe like 40 people who had COVID over Christmas. I think that's a, a, a very fair number. And there were so many other families, like of friends of my mom, whose uh, Christmases had also been affected by Oh The amount of people's Christmases that were just ruined once again. Once again, yeah. one more time. Yeah. So anyway, so I'm going back to Canada um, coming up this week and Jeremy is back to work. So he is not coming. I'm a little social butterfly right now. Yeah, I know. It's like memorizing the trip between here and downtown. Oh God, yeah, 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 that's right. But so we, we, got, we, uh, we got to go, we got to go. We did go, we did go. I've gone a couple of times now. Yeah, and give us a review. It's cool as fuck. And? It's cool as fuck. I, the, uh, I mean, so the whole naming rights going to your, a company that you, you know, are a part of and, you know, being so close to the deal and all these things, cool by and large. But the things you don't realize is like the amount of like, oh, now that you've done that big old deal, now you kind of also have to, 
make your way downtown two or three times a week to bring people to the space and like, you know, half flex and also half like meet and no network and do all those cool things. You gotta go schmooze. You gotta go schmooze, but also the people that you're able to like leverage and bring into these rooms are fascinating. Just fucking cool. It's one of those things again, when I, I sit in my little chair and I think in my own little head, I go, I'm not sure exactly who messed up and let me in the room and then kept letting me in the room. But I'm glad that they just, you know, turned the blind eye and like let my ass in here. Cause I certainly don't belong in this room, but I'm gonna keep pretending like I do anyway. Um, I need you to take that shitty attitude and put it right back up your ass. And we're not gonna tolerate some Jeremy slander around here. Thank you. I really do believe in fake it till you make it. I mean, I, I, I fully, fully agree. Yeah. I, I think there's, there's definitely some wrong ways to go about it. Uh -huh. I, I think there's, I think actually there's ways to fake it till you make it without just like blatantly lying to people. Yeah, I don't think faking it until you make it has to include lying. Right. Yeah, but yeah. There's like a level of just like, wait, uh, I think when I tell my like my come up story to people sometimes, mm -hmm. they think I'm kidding or joking or half the time. And I'm like, no, that that's how it worked. And they're like, wow, that's fascinating. I think you just have a really ballsy fake it till you make it. And it's paid off. It's working. Yeah. So far, yeah. knock on wood. So far. Don't have a yacht yet. What? Don't have a yacht yet. A what? A yacht. A yacht. Right. A or yacht. a Tesla. Don't have a Tesla either. I thought you said um, a gat. And I was like, oh. um, not entirely. Uh, I didn't really see that coming we, from your career, to be fair, career I don't, path. I also don't have a gat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, the yacht, I'm hoping actually comes before that. Before the gat. Yeah. 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 I just, oh, I, the Tesla actually would be nice if that came. Oh my God, that was a little of the question. So I asked you guys on Instagram um, because we're gonna try and do another podcast episode, I think before I leave for Canada. And so we're just like, it's been a while, which what do you guys want to talk about? And there was a lot of questions about the Tesla and where we're at with that. The new date. To be disappointed is January 7th. Oh God, that's tough, it's coming up. I, you know, should we, wait, Mazda, GMC, mm -hmm. Ford. A Buick. Toyota. Did Buicks, they still make Buicks? I don't know. Saturn, Pontiac. <laughs> they definitely don't make Saturns anymore. And point is, I don't, if I needed a car, if I really needed a car, uh -huh. I need to go get one at this point. It's ridiculous. Right, right. It's fucking ridiculous. Elon, why are you doing this to me? It's not good, boom. Just one or two, less tweets about Doge and one or two more cars at the lot. Did you see they did a big recall on the Model S's? Yeah, but it was like the older ones. It's, so it's not really the fun. one, but I was like, this is well, not good. I'm sure because they haven't had enough of them out into the world yet to recall the new one. Right, right, right. I'm sure it'll get some issues. But you're willing to be the testy, the test, the I test. I'm the bunny. crash test dummy, just give me a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, just give him a car. Every time I see one on the street, I'm like, that's so cool. So nice. So sexy. The good news is though, is that um, the gym that we have been playing to get a membership at is still not open. Right. So. And I looked the other day, no information. Yeah, there's really not. Yeah. There's really not. It's but supposed to be opening in um, summer. And I, I have been spending more time getting my mind huh. in a better place. I just read this book called Atomic Habits. Really great read, highly recommend. I read like the first chapter forever ago, like like six months oh, ago. Oh, that, that book's been sitting out for a long time. It's been time. sitting out forever. And then I read the entire thing in one night. <laughs> right. Um, Great read, highly recommends. Um, I asked you for some takeaways. You didn't really un unpack much you for me. Really listening. I feel like you asked just to like verify that I read the book, but you weren't actually like listening for those like sake of conversation. Did you want to? Okay. What did you? What did you take? So, anyways, from? what? Okay, hang on. Wait, 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 wait. Like, no. Let me let me pull up my let me pull up my notes because what you just said like punched me right in the the uterus. No, not in the uterus. Um, punch me right the knowledge in the the knowledge uterus. Yeah. Where I was like, damn, I just caught got called out hard. Because like when you're mentally preparing for something, it's some it's some bullshit. Hang on, let me find it. Ooh, okay, here we go. Habit building is about taking action, not being in motion. So people think that like when they spend a whole bunch of time doing research, and not to say that this isn't also helpful, because obviously sometimes for the action you need to do planning. Obviously that makes sense. But if I spend six months every day reading about workout plans, like I feel like I'm in motion. I feel but like, not. but you're not actually doing it. You're not in action, you're in motion, which is like the step before action, but you're not doing anything. So six months in motion does not equal any action. And you haven't actually taken a single step. Are you talking about me? I mean, I mean both. It was just like an applicable- um, This somehow became an attack at the end here. Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I'm the same way. Like with, with working out, I'm like, okay, like here's my routine. I'll set it. Like, here's what I want to do every day. Here's what I want my routine to be. And I spend so much time in motion in my head about it, but I'm not actually putting it into action. And so it's like, I haven't, like habit building is action, not motion. 
and it punched me in the knowledge uterus. Uteri, yeah, I get it. Yeah. Uh, and how is it going day two, three after reading the book? How is your action actionable? I actioned today. You actioned? I actioned today. Care to share? Oh, I, I just worked out. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Action today and made, made some good um, healthy eating decisions. Really? Yeah. I, um, I did a pretty good job of uh, timing certain things in my professional life mm -hmm. that I wanted to make sure either got done in a certain amount of time or I was no longer gonna spend any more time on them after X amount. Okay. Which is really quite healthy. That's so nice. Mm -hmm. well, mm -hmm. We love a little, um, a little, a little scheduled. Uh, well, the, 80, the, the I mean, I just, I don't think I ever really uh, studied what makes a brain ADHD outside the fact that I knew that I had ADHD mm -hmm. and I'm just diving in. And I gotta be honest, the content out there sucks. So you're gonna be the new ADHD spokesperson? If I was ever going to become an influencer and create content on my own, uh -huh. that's what it would be about. Without Everyone question. who wants to know about NFTs is like, you're fucking kidding. All we've been asking is for NFTs There's for dummies. A, a million people talking about NFTs on the internet. There are nowhere near enough people talking about ADHD. It's true, oh my God. Just search one hashtag of NFTs on TikTok and no. your algorithm will be, no, 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 not you, not you. But I, if you want, if you want TikTok content there, or if you want NFT content, there is a surplus. There's plenty. There's plenty. Not much good of it, but, but plenty of it. Welcome to 2022 Tillards. With the new year and resolutions, we invite you to kick off 2022 with a better checking account and no monthly fees. And how do you do that, you ask? Well, with Chime, of course. Chime, an award-winning app and debit card, has no overdraft fees, foreign transaction fees, monthly fees, or service fees. With over 60,000 fee-free in-network ATMs in many locations like Walgreens, 7-Eleven, CVS, you can access your money when you need it, where you need it, we love Chime, especially when you have financial goals you're trying to reach. Avoiding fees is a huge help in saving money. With Chime, you can also send money to anyone, even if you aren't on Chime. Fee free for you and no cash out fees for them. We love to see it. Make your first good decision of the new year and join over 10 million people using Chime. Sign up takes only two minutes and does not affect your credit score. Get started at chime.com slash WT9. That's chime.com slash WT9. Banking services provided by and debit card issued by the Baycorp Bank or Stride Bank, NA members FDIC. Get fee-free transactions at any MoneyPass ATM in a 7-Eleven location at any AllPoint or Visa Alliance ATM. Otherwise, out-of-network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. Sometimes pay anyone instant transfers can be delayed. The recipient must use a valid debit card or be a Chime member to claim funds. New year, new you, or at least I feel like that's what we like to think at the beginning of every year. But making goals to improve yourself is great, but sometimes super hard to keep up with. Well, Peloton is here to help because they are also bringing some new to the year, the new to the year, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very funny, yeah. very funny. Anyways, Lauren is actually right. Peloton has added a bunch of new classes, new music, new ways to keep your workouts fun and motivating. They've added a new fun artist series to their class selection. Work out to the music of a single artist for an entire class from your favorite hits to the deep cuts. They've over a hundred to choose from. They also have boxing to their selection, which is a personal favorite of mine. Even if you've never boxed before, these classes will have you working up a sweat while working on the fundamentals of form, footwork, and fun combos that will keep you on your toes. I've been boxing for, I don't even know how many years now, but for since we met, it's been forever. And I am such a fan of boxing boxing as a workout. They've also added a bunch of classes for every goal, day, and mood. De-stress from a long day of 30 minutes of strength and 20 minutes of cardio, or do a quick 15 minute total body class before work. For a limited time, try the Peloton app free for two months, then $12.99 after. New members only, visit onepeloton.com slash app to learn more. That's two months free at O-N-E-P-E-L-O-T-O-N.com. Offer expires 131.22, terms apply. Do you believe in New Year's resolutions? I forget. Do I believe in them? Yeah. We like did a podcast on this. I can't remember, what did we say? It's fine. Yeah. 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 I believe in goals. Right. But, but I, I have if goals on a timeline, no no good. You have, a, you have to have, a, have like a, an actual deadline here. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, it, I th there's a, I forget what the stat is, but it's like, staggering how much more likely a goal is to be accomplished when there's a date set to it. 
It's like 70% or something crazy. Otherwise you're just like floundering off in the distance waiting for- Floundering? Yeah, it's not cute. Or just floundering. No one likes a flounderer. No one likes a flounderer. No, 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 no. I, I like people get shit done. Yeah, me yeah. too. No, Actions, I, not motion. There's just, generally speaking, there's just so many cool things that are in front of, I think us this year mm -hmm. that are like possibilities, mm -hmm. which is also a big distraction sometimes. Cause like, oh, I could do that. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just trying to figure out which ones I want to like, like take by the balls this year. That's good. I know priorities are important. I am. Well, also priorities and then also delegating and also taking things off and saying, I'm not going to do this. I think these are all really great things for you. I think so too. I think that they will ensure that you get more sleep than you did in 2021. It would be difficult to get less. Yes. Indeed. Yes. Yeah. Jeremy's eyeballs have never looked better. When Jeremy doesn't sleep, his eyeballs look real rough. Like you can always tell exactly how many hours he slept in the past week based on the level of uh, eyeball yeah. uh, instability. Oh, there's a couple commenters <laughs> out there who like to remind me how terrible I look sometimes. And I go, thank you, you know Samantha. What? Samantha, continue doing that. Cause I think sometimes you need a little, a little bullying to make you sleep a little more. That's probably not gonna be the thing that makes me to sleep more. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be the thing that gets me to sleep more. Okay, yeah, that 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 path also works. I'm in control and I need to make sure that I take care of me. Wow, a fucking man, babe. You wanna talk about your ring? I got you a ring for Christmas. Also, I don't know if you can just throw that out there without people screaming. I got you a ring for Christmas. I literally had to make a, very a special disclaimer ring. on Instagram story being like, hello. And people still don't read because when I reposted it, everyone's talking know, about it. I'm I like, know, it's I right know, there. I know, I know. So Jeremy got me a gorgeous Cartier ring for Christmas and I loved it so very much. It's not on right now, but that's okay. No, so we had to go get it. Um, uh, we had to swap it for a different size. So on Christmas morning, the only finger that it literally fit on because your non-dominant hand is about a half size smaller is uh, the ring finger. And so mm. I posted a photo of it. So I was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Like I want to take a picture of it for like friends and family or whatever to post. Oh and I God. had to put the disclaimer <laughs> on it to be like, hello, everyone stay calm. This is the only finger that it fit on. It is not in it. Cause I mean like it's engagement season. Yeah, but it's not an engagement ring. It just, it, no, oh, it doesn't, no, 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 it doesn't look like an engagement ring whatsoever. No. It was just the placement of the finger that I think people jump to immediate conclusions, which I, I understand it, it's the season. There, well, there's also, there's 10 fingers. One of them means one thing. Right. The other nine don't. The other you nine put it on the one that did. Yes. So. Yeah, no, no, I yeah. get it. I get it. So I had to put the disclaimer because people were freaking out. And uh, anyways, we're just waiting on the new size because that's not the finger that it's going on. It's going on the left hand pointer finger, um, but we're waiting on a size exchange. I'm waiting for my second one to show up. Right, yeah. yeah, did you? Not sure where it is. No, Cartier um, was supposed mm. to you know, drop it off on Christmas Eve. And then I, I looked on the 22nd or 23rd uh -huh. and noticed that it was not gonna come until January something. I was like, no text, no call. I, how, you're yeah, just gonna- Wait, you're what gonna were ruin, you gonna do on Christmas day for Mr. you? Yeah. Cartier, you're gonna just ruin Christmas for me? And so then I went and bought another one in Beverly Hills last uh -huh. second. Uh -huh. And now I own two of them, but one's not here and I don't know where it is. Right. So, so that's super fun. Yeah. That's super, super fun. Super um, cost-effective. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Um. So Dirty 30. Yeah. What do you want to do? Drugs. Okay. Kidding. I don't know. Uh, or they don't. Okay. I want to see my friends. Uh huh. I want to um, do, so I'm glad you got COVID. It makes me feel less bad. Like, I literally feel so relieved. And also too, like out of all the variants, Omarion was the most ideal variant. I mean, Omarion's one of the most ideal, really. Scenarios. Yeah, in yeah. general, yeah. Uh, I don't know, I would like to have a mixture of like uh, uh, fun social things, mm -hmm. but also something small and intimate as well. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the goal. So I'm, I'm trying to hoe out for a few different things. Um, got some plans in the works. And so- You're gonna hoe out? Yeah, so I think we've got- uh, like, we've got To recap, when you asked me, I said drugs sarcastically, and now you're hoeing yourself out. Those who don't understand sarcasm are gonna have a real- um, Real fun time A with whirlwind with yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. which I, more than I uh, usually assume. Well, and so I'm hoping for like part one of the night, we'll do something like a little bit more intimate with like 12 to 14 people. Wow. And you know what I was thinking too, is that like- I was thinking that was the big party. No, no, no. Well, here's what I was gonna say, is that when you get older, people come in pairs now. So even yeah. if you're only close with one person, it's like weddings. It's like- No one should If you only have six close friends, right. That's 12 people. Do you mind if I bring um, Macy? The fuck is Macy? My wife of three years and mother of my four children. You can bring Macy. Macy can come. Yeah. Yeah, and so people have to come in pairs. So saying 12 to 14 people is only actually like- Six to seven. Six to seven people, right? Yeah. 
So anyway, so dinner, I'm hoping will be like a little more intimate. And then I'm trying to figure out how to stay in the same place, but make it so that like anyone can kind of just like come through and like grab a drink or whatever and say hi without yeah. having it to be like a thing. Ooh, it's gonna be expensive. Told you, hoeing out. <laughs> hoeing yeah. out for dirty 30. You only turn 30 once. It's true. We're flying in uh, Jeremy's best friend. We are, uh, we are. Yeah. I don't know if necessarily we're flying him in, but yeah. I mean, yeah, we're not we're not paying for it, but we are going to pick him up from the airport, so that counts. We are. I listen. I like him. No, no, he's I mean, flying like, to the close airport. I oh, said we're not going to pick oh, you up if you fly into LAX. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to say, listen, I, I like him. Like, you can get an Uber to our house if you fly into LAX because that is not close to our home. Happen. It ain't gonna happen. Yeah, 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 no, no, no chance. We like you, but it. not that much. Yeah, no, oh, okay, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I love him, but I mean, at LAX. No, I feel like we should um, uh, do some interactive things. Also, during the break. I feel like I had time to go through some of my like messages and DMs and things mm-hmm. and respond to people. And I was like, mm-hmm. I, we have the most eclectic, intelligent, amazing, random fans in the world. People from all over the world who work in all these weird tech jobs who are like commenting back on my nerdy shit. And I'm like, three months late, but hey, that was really funny. <laughs> so I had quite a good time. Better, better late than never. I know. Better yeah. late than never. Well, and all of them were like, oh, I don't remember. Oh, I do remember oh, saying that. I'm like, that's funny. Yeah. I'm like, sorry, I'll go. I have time. Nice to talk to you. Um, Okay, so yeah, I basically asked you guys on Instagram, like it's been forever, like miss you guys. What's up, what's up now? And uh, so it was was like a, it was like an AMA type of situation. Um, Got got a a few, got a few questions. Um, We got one real good banger from Corn Diddy. Oh. Um, A question that I've actually never Uh, thought of. Number one fan, uh, near stalker. Corn Diddy. Corn Diddy, yeah. Um, The Diddy of the Corns. If you had to bury treasure somewhere, where would you choose? I would probably go with the metaverse. What? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Um, if I had to bury treasure. Yeah. Um, I would probably do it somewhere, like the last place someone would expect it. So more or less in plain, like in plain sight almost. Okay. I, I, I think people will go, oh, let's think of all these crazy places they could hide it. Whereas like, actually the best place would be something that no one would ever think of, but isn't that hard to get to? It's just like, wait, it's here? No way. Huh? Would you build any kind of like, not like booby trap, but like thing on top of it? It's, how big are we talking? Like a chest. A chest? Like a treasure oh, chest. Okay, that's, okay, that's different. Um, <laughs> it, I mean, it doesn't have to be a huge treasure chest, but let, let's call it, let's call it, uh, let's call it uh, like, a, like a two by four. Hmm. And how Actually, valuable? that's kind of big, that's kind of big. How valuable are we talking? Like treasure. Treasure, treasure? Treasure, treasure. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, I would probably go to, fuck, this is hard. I think that I would buy a shitty little shed or something mm. and then build underground and make like a little trap door in the ground, in the shed to go into a thing with lots of different like booby traps and locks and passcodes and face eyeball fingerprint things. Yeah, I'd probably call one of my friends that, uh, um, has too much property or or yeah whatever in like Arkansas and say hey yeah there's a treasure chest in here if uh-huh. when I come back it's still here and we can you know open it up together uh-huh. we split it uh-huh. if not I know enough dirt on you don't fuck me right right yeah that's fair yeah yeah that's and fair. fortunately for all my friends hey um either we can split this ten million dollars or I'll talk about the time you did something stupid uh they all go okay great give me the chest treasure buried. Well, or, or just like in someone's mom's basement. Right. Oh yeah. my God, I put it in my mom's basement. You'd put it in your mom's basement. Yes, I was just thinking that. As soon as you said that, I was like, that is the only place that treasure could actually go. Wow. <laughs> and no one would ever take the time to go through all that shit. No, 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 no. I've got drum sets, more percussion equipment. Marimbas. Marimbas, a vibraphone. Yeah, it's not good. Um, another banger from Corn Diddy. <laughs> would you rather have a dog snoot and regular hands or dog paws and a regular mouth? Trick question, both. Okay. I mean, I'd rather just have it all if we're gonna, you know. If you're gonna commit yeah. to being bubbies. Right. But basically. Yeah. Okay, all right. Um, so, I mean, these are these questions are all over the place. Like we've got some sexual ones. We've got some real oh, random really? ones. Oh, yeah. Maybe some sexual ones. You want a sexual one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling in the mood. Fold or scrunch the toilet paper? <laughs> um, I, I've noticed actually, I'm a hybrid. I'm a hybrid as well. Really? Yeah, I'm a hybrid as well. And what do you use toilet paper for? Actually, you know what? I'm. What do you use toilet paper for? Poop. What do you use toilet paper for? Did... Poop. No. 
poop. No. I just want to make um, a national statement that girls do in fact poop. Okay, well, I didn't know this was a conspiracy podcast. We poop. No. We poop. False narratives. Poop. You know what? Actually, um, I'm a scruncher. I just remembered. You know what you have to be a scruncher is but when you have fake nails and long nails, mm. you have to be a scruncher. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I'm I'm like a bam, bam, bam scrunch. Like a flip, up flip. Wait, oh my God. When did we realize that I, that I, that I, <laughs> that I went with the other hands? Wait, what? Remember how we discovered, so like I'm, I'm right handed. Right handed, but you wipe left. And I wipe my both my left hands. I wouldn't even know to begin with that. <laughs> You know what? He also had a, a completely unrelated questions from all different people. Is uh-huh. that they were saying one of the girls was like, "My boyfriend, I just found out, wipes their butt standing up." So like, I just need to confirm that that's fucking weird. And we decided that I'm I kind of like squat in the middle. You? Oh my god, that's right. Yeah, I'm like a middle kind of guy. I just don't understand. Yeah, you know it. It's it's who I am. Do you? Do the cheeks hit the seat in between? Like, is it like an up down mini squat type of thing? Or you just kind of hover? At any point in time, I don't have the thigh capacity to keep my ass up between wipes. <laughs> I need to Well, that's to what I was thinking. Chair. I was like, my legs would be shaking. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, I'm fine. Huh? So there's no up and down. It's not like a mini squat. No. Okay. No. Huh? Mm-mm. Wow. So you, uh, you're halfway. Yeah, I'm halfway. That's so fucking weird. I just can't picture it. It just doesn't seem like the most efficient method for the job. You also gotta remember there's some things in the way on my end. Hmm. Hmm. Like what? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, okay. Um, 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 where's Jeremy's Tesla? I like how I said that one. Slipping sexual when you went straight with the poop. Yeah, I just, I mean, it's where my, it's where my, my eyes went. <laughs> okay, got it. Um, Oh, this is a good one. Actually, you know what? I want to address this one real quick because I don't know how many times I'll have to answer this question for the rest of my life. Um, but everyone wants to know when we're getting another dog. I wanted to get Caesar yesterday. Oh my God, there was a rescue Doberman. So cute. Which is like literally the best of both worlds of I want a rescue dog and Jeremy wants a Doberman. And like best of, we just, Bubby's is so easy. Bubby's is so low maintenance. And I am the only one in this household who has time for anything remotely related to dogs. And so to only have um, a single parent household. Okay. To only have a single parent household. All right. And having two dogs is okay. not the move. You don't have time. I don't have time for another dog. You don't have time for another dog. No. And so. It's not, it's not the right time. It's not the right time. And so that is the answer. Moose is just so low maintenance. And um, we just don't have time for another puppo. It's true. And you gotta love whatever dog comes into your life and we don't have the time to give it the love it needs. Oh my God, yeah. I mean, I don't know if anyone has seen me with Moose, but I smother. Hey, you guys, like, it's like a, a, a cohabitation thing. Moose and I, especially like being stuck at home for a solid- Velcro. <laughs> we probably didn't go more than half an hour without touching at all times. It is <laughs> astonishing. I mean, it's- <laughs> When when Lauren leaves for seven minutes, Moose looks at me like, the fuck <laughs> am I supposed to do with you? And I'm like, I don't know, what are you supposed to do with me? I hang out and, and like- We with, have codependency issues. You do. Especially after this this month of like just being home a lot. Moose and I have codependency issues. What I like to call Moose, when he gets uh, this look of, uh, when I can tell Moose is in a, a destructive mood, uh-huh. I call him Dennis, like right. Dennis the menace. Yeah. And so when he like walks around the corner and just kind of like, Looks a little bit like, <laughs> and I'm like, menacing. what's up, Dennis? And it's not Dennis when you're gone. He just looks generally lost in the world. Yeah. And I, it's as if there's a gap and a void and a big old piece of him. And he looks at me and goes, well, you're not going to fucking fill it. <laughs> you're not going to fill the void. That's so and sad. And like, fortunately, like he- uh, He quick, gets over it. He quickly yeah, gets yeah, over he gets it and comes sits on- the most inconvenient part of whatever I'm sitting yeah, on. Yeah, 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 for okay. sure. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah. And like we, we cuddle. And also when you're gone for like, you know, overnight and everything, he sleeps right in my nest and everything's fine. Oh, totally. He's a very flexible dog. Like, yeah. I, I genuinely think like, although Moose and I are very codependent, like I think that he could basically go home with any stranger who was oh, nice to him and yeah. he would live a very happy life. When I tell you there's a void that can't be filled, it's just because you're coming back to fill it. Yes. If you left for more than a day or two and I kept feeding him. Yes. What's her name? Yes. Uh, no, I, I don't think I had, I had. Yes. Let me see a picture. Never met her. Moose is the most loving, sweetest dog in the entire world. Selfish but he has as hell. No loyalty. None. <laughs> no Who's loyalty. Who's holding the bag of treats? <laughs> no loyalty. That's the one I love. That's the one. Exactly. Um, 
So yeah, um, no new puppos. I would love, one of my favorite dog breeds, obviously outside of like mini bull terriers is the Staffy and the mm. Pitbull. And so I would love more than, I would, I want more than anything to rescue a Staffy or a Pity. One day. One day, one day. Um. Okay, this is a good one. I had to think about this for a second. Would you rather have, would you rather have to relive 2016 for a month or go forward and live 2026 for a month? 2016? Yeah. Oh, fuck that. <laughs> oh my God, no. Oh my God. Oh, that was miserable. Oh, oh, fuck no. 2026, do your worst. 2026, do your worst. Yeah. Listen, I'm so glad I learned and felt and experienced. Mm. I don't even really exactly remember what happened in 2016. Right. I just know, no. I I actually went back and forth. Cause I was like, if, okay, if I already dealt with all the bullshit of 2016, like I could go back hypothetically and just go deal with the bullshit again and it'd be even that much easier since I've already done it. Cause I was like, well, what if I do 2026 and it changes the way that I do everything once I come back oh. to 2022. I, oh my God, I, I would, I would be as miserable as all my friends would be with me at the time. I'd be like, this is so stupid. I don't, I don't, I shouldn't be here. I already did this. You're like, <laughs> shut up. Dude. What's wrong with right, you? Right. But I think that like, I would rather just, just like trudge through whatever I did before in the past. Cause I wouldn't want this to fuck up my, my future. You know what I mean? Like- It would stress me the fuck out. It would stress me out. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, if I already survived the bullshit that was 2016, like I can do it again and it'd be easier. Maybe I could even make some more better decisions. More I'm, better. More better. More better decisions. Yeah, grammar school. I no, I I no, I there's no part of me that wants to go back in time. I mean, no, neither do I at all. 2016, she can say the fuck back there. Yeah. But but being a month, uh, also that's a long time. That's not just like a glimpse into your future. That's like a month. Yeah. And also too, it's like do you do you get dropped into that month without any context of what your life is like? Right. Do you know like, when you're going back? Do we have a child now? Like we have no, I, I have no idea. I'm like, oh my God, I don't know how to be a parent. I've never been a parent. And they're like, oh, actually. Oh, here's I feel ill. You, yeah, you're right. I would feel very ill-equipped yes. to handle. Woo. All of it, even technology. We probably won't even know how to use our phones in four years from now. Speak for yourself. <laughs> Did you see the new Tesla phone they're coming out with? What? Next year. G where's my car, Elon? Yeah, no, no. no phones. He's like, sorry, you gotta put a whole, maybe another couple months on the uh, car because I gotta work on this phone. Oh my God. Is it coming out this year? Bullshit. Yeah. Oh, the Cybertruck was coming out three years ago. Yeah, I know so many people who put down payments on that thing and it's just Not nowhere here. to be found. Not here. I mean, you could get the kids one though. That one's pretty cute. The little kid cyber car. Mm, okay. Not street safe. Uh, it also, is are, what, are those available? Yeah, those are available. Really? Yeah. Don't tempt me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. I will. I would love no to shame. see your six four ass body just on a little kid's Whatever. Tesla. <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, I uh, think I'd, like, I'd prefer go forward. Okay, okay. Even though I think that would actually probably cause more damage than going back. I totally agree. Um, okay, super random, but what's your favorite form of potato? Smashed. Really? Smashed, love smashed, smashed potatoes. I, I like a smash too. Love smashed, like TGI Friday's smashed potatoes. Mm, I've never had. Or Outback. Really, I actually prefer large food chain smashed potatoes. Smashed potatoes is the little ones, but smushed, right? They got the skin in them. Yeah, yeah, they got skin. Yeah, use okay. a bit of sour cream and chive action. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see. It's like a full meal in potato. Mm. You're allergic to half the things in that. Intolerant. Don't get it twisted with you allergic. Sh you should stop eating I should immediately. Not eat you should stop partaking. All those things. As I'm tired of hearing about it afterwards. <laughs> After New Year's Eve, I ate Babe. so, I ate too much cheese. I'm like, you're still allergic to cheese. <laughs> Don't use the word allergic because allergic is, I'm allergic to almonds and that makes my face and, and my throat eat? explode. Let me just take those off the top. I'm like, what are you doing? Yeah, that's fine. Calculated your, your happy, risk. Your happy pen probably expired nine years ago. Uh, it's. It's been it's a it's been a little bit. We're towing the line. It's been a little bit. Yeah. Um, I think that I would personally either go for a shredded hash brown okay. or a twice baked potato. Shredded hash have to be crispy though, right? Crispy all Not the way soggy. through. No soggies. Yeah, I get it. No soggies. No soggies. Yeah. But also a twice baked potato, um, specifically for my Canadians from the keg, is elite. I, I've had this exact thing. Yes. I'd still take smashed potatoes. I um I took Jeremy to the keg in Niagara Falls and we looked at the falls from there cause it was kind of cold and kind of windy and kind of just like sleet smacking you in the face. And so we looked at the um the wonderful 
Falls of the Niagara from the gig. From a restaurant. And it was wonderful. Like good tourists. Like good tourists do. Whatever. <laughs> I enjoyed the whole thing. Oh my God, no, it was wonderful. Are you kidding me? Also, I, I, literally eating a twice baked potato anywhere makes me happy. Watching, remember when I had to explain to you that it was not one of the wonders of the world? I still, I literally, when I when I delivered that last sentence, I almost slaughtered that in there. And I just remembered that it is not one of the wonders of the world. It was. I think it's one of the nice uh, travel attractions of Canada. <laughs> oh, the amount of people that I've probably spread. So wait, what you just, are the wonders? You just, you just spread absolute oh, lies. Oh sometimes. my God, lies. Yeah. I just spew misinformation. Okay, wait, can you name the seven wonders of the world? No. Wait, what the fuck? Why are there so many here? What are the, okay, here we go. Okay. Are we, we getting part, like giving out participation okay. trophies now? Yeah, yeah. Great wall of, yeah, that's what that last list. Great no, wall of China. No, 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 no. There's the natural wonders of the world and the seven wonders of the world. I want seven natural wonders of the world. Okay, so this is uh, the new seven wonders of the world. Right, I, we want natural wonders of the world. There's, there's two uh, okay, lists. Okay, there's two Guaranteed. lists. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, seven, uh, seven natural wonders of the world. Mm -hmm. And then we can do the, the man-made ones if you'd like. Okay, okay. Okay, so the seven, oh, mm. I see now. Yes, okay. okay. A guide to the seven like natural wonders like of the world. Stonehenge. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay, so the Northern Lights. The Aurora Borealis. The Aurora Borealis, right. yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right. uh, the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that makes sense. Have you been to the Grand Canyon? No, right? Not really, no. I went. And? It was nice. <laughs> it was It was fine. If anyone ever describes me as, it was, it was nice. <laughs> Just fucking shoot me. I, I mean, just, oh. it, was, it was nice. I mean, I don't it, know. It's one of those things like, cause like, unless you have like a scheduled tour or a hike, it's one of those things where you kind of just like look at it, take a few pics and you're like, all right. Pretty big. Pretty big, huh? pretty red. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, I have no idea if this one is. Oh, I'm about to, I'm good. I'm about to, oh, oh, this is a volcano. Para, paracutin, para, um, oh, even avid travelers may not know about mainly because this natural wonder resides in- One more time. Uh, what? One more time. No, about mainly because this natural wonder resides in Michoacan, Mexico. I mean, I'm afraid that, okay, let me see. <laughs> para, para, what does that say? Para, Paracutin? Paracutin? Pa Paracutin? I, I don't know. Uh, para, para, anyway, it's para a volcano in Mexico. Okay, yeah. Um, Victoria Falls. Cool. So borders of Z Zambia. That's Zambia? Sound South Africa, South America? Uh, located in Africa along the borders of Zambia and Zimbabwe. Close the first time. Fuck. Uh, Mount Everest, makes sense. Yeah, it's big. Border of Nepal and Tibet, China. Mm. Uh, the Great Barrier Reef. And well, she's she's recovering. She is? Yeah, she is. she was gone. Um, there's been, no, oh, no, no. Like is Amarion and her I like think, getting together? Uh, and... Yes, Okay. yes. Um, and the harbor of Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro? Oh, did I say that wrong? Rio de Janeiro? How did, what is it? Is it Rio de Janeiro? Yeah. Yeah. It's Rio. The harbor of Rio. Yeah, South America. Huh. Yeah, I'm really pissed that Niagara Falls is not on here. Okay, let's go to the other ones. Wow, I'm so glad that our first podcast back of 2022 has been so educational. Yeah, you guys are welcome for this one. Yeah. Uh, pop quiz next week. Seven, what was it? Modern Wonders of the World? I, it's man just seven, um, yeah. Man seven, made. If, I think they, it's the seven natural wonders of the world and yeah. seven like wonders of the world. Uh, what are the seven man-made wonders of the Stonehenge world? Stonehenge is for sure up there. Oh, here we go, here we go. Pyramids. Um, Great Wall of China. Makes, Makes sense. sense. Also, I still, every time I see the Great Wall of China pop up on our like TV screens, everything thingy. You think um, if, there, if there's bathrooms? No, I think about how there's not bathrooms after so many of our viewers said that oh. they peed off the side of the wall, the Great Wall of China. They should add some plumbing. They need to add some, if they're gonna have it be like one of the, the seven wonders of the world, you that, have to have bathrooms. <laughs> nothing's that wonderful without moving water. No, not at all. Yeah. Um, The Great Pyramid of Giza. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, The Taj Mahal. Okay. I hear it's a little, like they, 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 they've they let the place go a little bit. Okay. Yeah, but I want to go. Uh, Christ the Redeemer in Rio. Yep, that's the big Jesus that looks Oh yeah, 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 that's right, yeah, yeah. The Colosseum in Rome. Uh, the Easter yeah. Islands. Have you been to the Colosseum? Uh, no, I've never been to Rome. Oh, yeah. you should go to Italy. Yeah, I would love that. Let's do that. I want nothing more than to live my Lizzie McGuire dream. Colosseum is just like what I imagine how we'll be viewed when we, say that we watched UFC mm -hmm. 2000 years from now. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Uh, the Easter Island statues. Oh, I didn't know those were in Peru. I don't know where I thought they were. 
That doesn't ring a bell to me at all. And then I'm about to pronounce this wrong. It's in Myanmar, the Bagan Temple and Pagodas. Okay. That's it. No, no, stone, no Stonehenge? No Stonehenge. <laughs> how the fuck did how they get those rocks up people, there? How many people have you been telling Stonehenge to? Well, I haven't really had this conversation often, but if really? I did have to guess, gun to my head, I'm saying that Stonehenge is Is a, one of them? How did they get it up there? I don't know. Aliens, I thought it was aliens. Was it on an alien thing? Well, well, we would all have to kind of come around and like assume that that was, no, I'm not buying aliens. Well, then who did it? I don't know. I think aliens are about You think aliens? Yeah. You know, that there's like some hearsay that they just hired a bunch of- um church leaders in America to kind of speak to the government on how the people would more or less respond to if there were alien life. And they were like, Oh my God, that's right. There's millions out there. Wait, I feel like you should give more context to this. Because- I really wish that I was more educated on the topic, but I believe that there was 24 religious leaders okay. who were hired basically. Cause when you hire someone from the government, they have to kind of tell everybody they're about to hire you. Cause it's a budget thing. Okay. And so I guess they hired 24 or a couple dozen, I should say religious leaders to basically ask, hey, if we were to tell you and your congregation, <laughs> E.T. is up there, mm. how do you think they respond? And then assuming that it wouldn't be well, how would you help Crazy. frame yeah. how such would you, thing? How would you market that? Yeah, yeah. Uh, weird, I haven't got that call yet. Babe, they are making the biggest mistake of They're, their careers by not calling you in for they this. They are, I would be able to really- Are there it. religions that are very like anti-alien? Well, I think there are some religions that like the general <laughs> like, foundation doesn't include aliens. I see. So it's almost like, well, who's fucking lying here? Right, right, I right. see, I see, I see. Right. I mean, I just think that there are gonna be some, uh, this, this this feels like one of those things we're not gonna agree on. Us? Well, no, 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 not us. Oh, uh, different humans? religions, yeah, different humans. I mean, if there- Name one topic that we all agree on right now. Literally nothing. Timothy Shyamalan, we all love him. Oh my God, guys, we saw Timothy Shyamalan. I learned that I've been pronouncing his last name wrong my entire life until now. Shyamalan. Well, it's Sham. No, wait. Is it Chalamet or Chalamet? I get I get the M and the L mixed up. Yeah, yeah. We saw him in Cartier, and he looked rich. Yeah, I think he's quite wealthy. Yeah, there's levels to this. Very rich. You think you're doing well? We're not. Yeah, we're not. We're not. Um, he is. Uh, yeah. Anyway, we all agree on him. We all agree on him. We all agree on Betty White. I was gonna say, like, even when people don't agree on dinosaurs, but yeah, we have like full skeletons of dinosaurs. It's like, it's impossible. But then it's like, how do they go extinct? And like, where do they, go? it's just like yeah. a, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you know, people be nice to each other, damn it. I always say that like, if everyone was just like a little bit more like Moose. If everyone was a little bit more like the Tillies, because we have the nicest audience and fans in the world. We do, except for sometimes I feel like they can rally like me where I want to clap back against people who aren't in our community. You know what I mean? Like when someone comes for you, I'm like, oh bitch, fucking roll the sleeves up, let's go. Yeah, people are just, just, they just, they don't think, they just Twitter fingers it out. No, 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 I know. But I mean, I feel like there's some Tillies like who are on the same page as me where we're willing to get a little scrappy right. to defend our people. I, I get it. Other tills. Other tills. Other, the other, other tillers. Other tillards. Yeah, other tillards. No, that's gone. We have to leave her in 2021. We're not leaving her. She's no. here. She's already here. Yeah. She's already here. Anyway. She's already here. I am, uh, let's do more questions to interactive things. Okay. No, 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 the next pod. Oh, no, wait, no, no. one more, one more, one, one more? more, one more. Okay, One fine. more, one more. Finale. Um, finale, 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 Make it finale, go. finale. Is it okay to spend all of your money on plushies at Miniso? Yes, no. it is. Okay, bye. See you next week. Love you guys. Happy 2022. Welcome back to the podcast. We're back for another year. Bye, Lapia. Bye, y'all.